Hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial, today we are going to do this. Starting with the default cube, select it and press N to open the item panel, go to dimensions and make it like the numbers you see, I did change the length unit to centimeters from here, a bathroom. 240 by 400 centimeters and with a height of 310, press G and move it to top on the Z axis by 155 to level it with the ground, now, from inside, select the ceiling, and press Shift D to copy it, move the copy to bottom by 20 centimeters, then, switch to wireframe mode, and with vertices selection, Scale the bottom ceiling by moving vertices to inside 8 cm. After that, I am going to position the camera, in the front view, pressing CTRL. Alt and number bad 0 will change it to camera view as shown, then, from the frame dimensions, I am going to change it, making it 741 by 1075 is fine for me. Position the camera inside, put it near the wall for widest view, and make sure it won't overlap with it. You can go into the view panel and check the lock camera to view option, and with the hand and zoom icon manage the scene as shown. Also, in the camera settings, Change the focal length to something around 28. Once finished, uncheck lock camera to view option. Now, to start with the wash basin area, first, press Shift A to add a cube. A 15 cm in height, and a 70 in wide. Turn on vertex snap and position it as shown. The area will be of two cubes, 160 in length for this one, press shift D to make a copy and snap it to the original. Then in the edit mode, snap those vertices to the corner. We can measure their heights from here. It's close to 90 and plus 15 thickness make it bit much, so moving it to bottom by 10 is fine. Now, the second cube, we will add to it a wireframe modifier. We also need to apply transformation because the thickness is not even, so apply it and add the wireframe modifier again, changing the thickness to 4 works for me. Once it's fine with you hit apply, press tab and enter edit mode, select the main edges and bevel them adding some smoothness to the shape.
After that, with vertices selection, snap the vertices around to corners as shown, it won't take much time. Then to the first cube, select those two edges and bevel them. Again bevel not working because we scale the cube and forget to apply transformation, so press Ctrl A and apply it, hit Ctrl B for bevel and with the mouse click and drag for the scale of the bevel area, the mouse wheeler will increase the edges and smoothness in it, again, snap those vertices in the second cube as shown. Now, to make the mirror, first the mirror frame, press Shift A to add a torus, now in the torus parameters window, the location's numbers will move it around while changing its settings, that's because if you move it with the G or the move tool you probably going to lose this parameters window and need to add a new torus again, the segments will control the smoothness of the shape and the radius to scale it as you need, so, I need a thin smooth frame like, shape which I am going to modify later. So for now those number works for me, you can copy the same numbers, but, you can always experiment with it before settle, once you finished, press R and rotate it, and with the G move it to inside. Now position it on the wall from the camera view. After that, in the edit mode, select the bottom half of the vertices to move it down. And make it go under the basin area as shown, manage it from the camera view. Then, in the same place, add a circle, make the fill type and gone, rotate it and scale it to fit, again manage its place from the camera view. Now add plane in the area between the circle and the frame, rotate it and scale it down a bit. In the edit mode, press, Ctrl R to add two loop cuts as shown, then, select the right two faces and with the right mouse click subdivide, make the subdivision number 8, and with the right mouse click, change it to triangulate faces, 
I did subdivide it again after all that, and deleted the faces outside the frame as you see. Changing the selection tool to circle did help. Once finished, press X and delete faces, and deleted those two big faces on the left. Here the face are visible to be deleted so I just move the vertices around so it won't appear. Then press Ctrl A to apply transformation, and from the modifiers, add a wireframe 1 to the shape, a thickness of 0.2 looks fine. Now select it, press Shift D to make a copy, rotate the copy and snap it to the first one as shown. And finally, select them both and press Ctrl J to join them. Now we have the mirror, the frame and the metal shape between them. Align them with the wall. Add some thickness to the mirror with extrusion. Now with the right mouse click smooth shade the metal parts, and remember to save your progress. Another thing we need to make is the wood part in the right, add a cube in that area, scale it down as shown. This bar will go from the floor to the bottom ceiling, manage its position with the snap from the camera view. Use scale and vertex movement to modify it. Once you finished, press Shift D and move the copy to the left, and now press Ctrl R to repeat the copy process as shown. After that, select all the copies and join them. It is intersecting with the basin area so we need to edit this. In the edit mode, I added two loop cuts as you see, the bottom face need a loop cut also, so add it and snap it to the top one. Now select the two faces and with the right mouse click bridge them, I pressed H to hide all the objects around this area for better view, 
You can also just select the one cube we're working on and hit Shift H to isolate it, so fix this area as shown, delete the unwanted faces and cap this hole with bridge edge loops. Press Alt H to unhide all, and again this metal area need to be moved a bit. Now in the bottom ceiling, add two loop cuts around the wood area. Delete this resulted face, in the edit mode, select the faces on the wood bar and move them to inside, you can also just scale it on one axis and snap it again to corner, and again, move the basin area so it won't intersect with the wood part. Then, to the floor, now the floor has two parts, under the basin will be some kind of decorative stone, and the rest will be marble, so, add a loop cut and snap it to the wash basin cube as shown, after that, select the bigger part from the floor and press E to extrude it by 5 to top. I did move it to bottom a bit so it end up like 3 or 4 centimeters in thickness, and again, select the main edge and bevel it. Now to make the wall trims, add a cube in one corner, scale it down, and in the parameters, make it a 2 centimeters in thickness and 12 in height. Now here, I did first move it back from the corner by 2, then, extrude it by 2 again, selected the resulted face and extrude it to the wood part, and repeated the process around the room, it won't take a minute, you can also copy the walls and scale them down on the Z axis, then extrude them to inside by 2 and you will have the same result. Once you finished with that, select the surrounding edges, apply transformation first, then, bevel them like before with Ctrl B. Okay. 
So, the mirror seems a bit small so I just scale it up a bit, and apply wireframe modifier once you finish. After that, to add spots to the scene, make a new collection which will contains the light sources modeling, put the cursor on the ceiling area, press shift A to add a cylinder. If your scene cuts when you zoom like this, decrease the clip start value in the view parameters, now while selecting the cylinder, go to edit mode, first select the ring edges and bevel it, again, I keep forgetting to apply transformation. So, once you done smoothing it, select the bottom face, press I to insert it, then extrude it to top a bit. This will have a light material, and for that, go to material settings, add to material, the first one will be a default bright metal, the second one will be light material and assign the highlighted face to it. Scale it up to fit the ceiling, and in the top wireframe view, make a copy of it as shown. And again copy those two spots along the ceiling couple of times. Now, in real life, 8 spots for this 10 meters square is quite a lot, but, for better lightning this scene I will leave it like so. After that, in the area near the wood part, I am going to model a simple hanging lamp, first add a cylinder and scale it down, then, scale the selected faces shown and extrude it to bottom. And again, simple scale and extrusion. Repeat this process for the third time to have this shape. Now, select the ring edges by holding Alt and Shift while selecting, press Ctrl B and bevel them. The bottom face will have a light material so just insert it a bit with a little extrusion to top. And again, as before with the spots, add two material and assign the light material to the last face selected. Once you finished, go to top view and make two copies of the hanging lamp, they will have a variation in height, so, in the edit mode, as you see, I am selecting the vertices and moving them to bottom on each one.
Now, to model the wash basin and the water tap, simply add a cube in this area, scale it to fit as shown, and level it up with the snap tool. Press Ctrl A and apply transformation. After that, in the edit mode, select the upper face and hit I to insert it, then extrude it down as shown. Press Ctrl R and with the mouse wheel increase the numbers of loop cuts. Two in each direction is what I need. I am going to extrude them back as you see one by one. Once you've finished, from the modifiers, add a subdivision modifier. Increase the subdivision number on both view and render to about 3, then with the right mouse click, smooth shade it. Finally apply the modifier and scale it on the Z for more depth. Now, to the water tap modeling. Starting with a cube, scale it down and move it to position. I will repeat a scale extrude process just to make a simple model out of it. You can always have a reference image to work with, use the vertices movement to edit the shape. Here in the tap handle, just add some smoothness to it with bevel, again it is a simple model so you can spend some time on it if you want. Now to model the light switch, add a cube in that area, scale it down as shown.
and in the edit mode, select the edges to bevel them. After that, add a cylinder on the front face, scale it down and rotate it by 90, and again, with the inset extrusion process, model it as you see. Once you've finished, press Ctrl A to apply transformation, then, select the ring edges and bevel them, I need two of those so I just hit Shift D to make a copy. Here in the corner, I am going to add another cylinder, and this time, just scale it and bevel it would be fine. And finally copy this last cylinder on each corner. Now select all the light switch objects and join them, copy it around the room with the same height level. Now, to import models to the scene, this file you see has some models that I am going to use, as you see it has decorative stones, toilets, plants and more. The models also have materials that I already assigned to them. So. To start with that, add a new collection to the scene, then, just copy it from one file and paste it in the other with Ctrl V. Once you have them in the scene, arrange them as you see fit, so, here we have hangers, towels and soaps, some will go on the right wall. The soap and toothbrushes will be near the basin, scale them if you want, move the models around with the G.
Once you finished with this, add another collection to import the next model, this time it is the decorative stones, paste them in the scene with Ctrl V, use R and G, to rotate and move the model to place. Then, make a copy of it and select both copies to scale them to fit the area needed, and again copy them on the other direction to fill the stone area. Once you've finished, Hit Ctrl J to join all the stone's objects. After that, to the next model. Import the plant to the scene, scale it to fit and move it in position under the hanging lamps. Here, in the edit mode, I am just moving the bottom vertices top to decrease the legs length. Again, import the next model to the scene, these cleaning products will go near the basin area, and then just copy them over to the right wall. I also going to copy one of the soap bottles to the same right wall glass shelf, just need to delete this part from it first. Now before we finish this part, I am just going to model a spherical lamp on the stone area, so, from shift A add a UV sphere. Then, from the front wireframe view, delete those bottom faces. Select this ring edges and extrude them down a bit, scale them to inside and again extrude to bottom to make the base metal part, once you finished, hit shade smooth.
So, to make it look like a light inside the glass, we need to copy those faces to inside as you see. Now in the material editor, add a default material first. Then add a second material and assign the light faces to it. And finally, select both the glass and light faces, deselect the light faces after that, from the deselect button, and assign to the glass faces a new material, the base part will take a metal one. So, we need two of this lamp model. Scale it as you see fit, move in place, and once you finished, make another copy with Shift D, and that's it for this part. Next one we will finish rendering this scene so stay tuned, goodbye.